Uh, question four, two main measuring device voltmeter and meter describe and explain what they measure, how they are connected in a circuit to measure. I wonder if there's a textbook section on that. There might be, there also <laughs> may not be. Uh, let me see. Uh, so I'm looking for um, this question of voltmeter and ammeter. Uh, would they be here? Okay, um, here's something that looks promising. Um, Chapter 9, wait, what was I saying? Oh, those earlier, yeah. Okay, Chapter 9, Current and Resistance, Ohm's Experiment. The, I mean, I guess these sentences just tell you what to do. Um, what's that all that question is asking for? What they measure, okay, voltage and current, how they're connected in a circuit to measure these quantities. Okay, that's what I just highlighted, ah, uh ah. -uh and what their ideal internal resistances are and why. Let's see if the textbook covers that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I really see that in this section. Let me see what other sections might have that. Um, yeah, electrical measuring instruments, uh, 10.4. Let's take a look at that. Uh, yeah, measuring voltage with a voltmeter, yeah. Yeah, so a yeah, voltmeter is uh, connected in parallel. You've seen that. Uh, parallel connection used because object in the same potential. Di yes. So it's measuring the potential difference it experiences um, uh, here. So it's uh, claiming something which uh, maybe everyone knows, maybe not. It says this um, since the voltmeters are connected in parallel, the voltmeter must have very large resistance. Okay, that's an interesting claim. So this is what you can imagine. Um, so I, I think uh, maybe, uh, let me just uh, bring your attention to this portion of the circuit here. You have a register and you have a voltmeter. It's not providing uh, a power. What it is, is it's measuring the voltage difference from this point and the, uh, this point. Now, one of the ways you can model um, physical things that's not designed to a, thi to a thing, like uh, a register is really designed to uh, work with that Ohm's law that it obeys, you know, resistance is equal to voltage divided by current. Um, that's, um, that's how you model register. And uh, for a voltmeter, it's a real physical device. Uh, it, um, so, when you imagine an ideal voltmeter, it could uh, be making an ideal connection here. That's possible, just straight wire from one to the other end. Or it could do something else. And I hope you see that if this has an ideal wire connecting one end to the other, then the voltage this is difference that it's gonna measure is zero because um, they're connected by wire, so there's no voltage difference. So that probably isn't right. So let's see if there's a, another way to argue this through. Um, you want to know the voltage at this point and at this point. And as you are doing that, you want to change just uh, as little as possible. And if someone asks you um, how much current is going through this branch of the Wait, why is that so thin? <laughs> How much current is going through this branch of the circuit? You would want to be able to say, well, we had some amount of current coming in and I want all of it to continue to go through the register R1. I don't any, I don't want any diverted away into something else. So as if you are thinking through that, then you should realize, oh, I want basically infinite resistance here, are going to infinity. If you have that for the voltmeter, then as you connect the voltmeter, it won't affect change anything. The water, so current flowing into the voltmeter will be zero, and the whatever voltage this was at, it'll stay according to the Ohm's law relationship. You know, change in voltage is equal to resistance times uh, change in current. So, so yeah, voltmeter should have ideally an um, infinite resistance so that it doesn't affect the circuit that it's measuring uh, volt voltage off. Okay, so that uh, voltmeter and how you have to attach it in parallel. Let's find the ammeter. Do they 
analog and digital meters, ohm meters. Uh, do they not talk about amp meter? Okay, there's a uh, DC voltmeters and amp meters. Amp meters measure current. Um, tuner amplifier volume amp meters. Um, measure ah here it is measuring current with uh, an amp meter. Okay, it says uh, to measure a current through a device or component, an ammeter is placed in series uh, with the device or component. Uh, yeah, and this is uh, basically what they're saying. A series connection is used so that this condition will be enforced, same current passing through them. And, um, and as you are thinking of ideal ammeter it's the question of okay um so you know we have a circuit uh, without the ammeter we had a circuit before the ammeter it might have looked to maybe something like this go from here to a straight wire to here um so we might have gone like this and um in this circle there's a still, still some current i and um when, when you no longer uh, have the current be diverted that way, but have the current to go through the ammeter, then the request the desire here is um, is that whatever current that I was would have been, been measuring magically before placing the ammeter, I want this current to, to remain the same. And as you look at this, I think you can see that, oh, how much this current will be, will depend on some kind of total voltage divided by the, the, the resistances of these different things that are modeled here, R1 plus R2 plus uh, R. So as you are looking at this, wanting this current not to change, I hope you come to the conclusion, oh, then this portion of the circuit must be just like wire. Because if it were to be modeled with some resistance, then whatever this resistance is, you're gonna have to add to this portion of your expression for current so that the current is the total voltage minus the total resistance. If I don't want the current to change, then I really want this R to be zero, which means your ideal ammeter behaves like a, a piece of ideal wire. So a current comes in through one side of the ammeter and it goes, so actually whether ammeter has resistance or not, it won't change how much current comes out. Current that goes in, it must be the current that goes out. I talk about that in lecture. Um, what's important here is that this current in and current out, uh, which are the same regardless of conditions, is um, this current out will not be the same as current out without a meter unless a meter has a zero resistance. So once a meter has a zero resistance, then the current with or without a meter is more or less the same. So you can place the ammeter in the path of the current and uh, the ammeter will give you some reading and that reading is what you understand for the current through the, the entire branch where you measure the current for. So. I hope that makes sense. Um...